Hey folks, I'm out here on my walk. Um, it's kind of kind of cold. Um, I don't think it would be as cold because it's only 48 degrees. But um, I don't think that it would be as cold as it is if it weren't for this crazy wind. I hope it's not uh, messing up the volume or... You know, y'all can't hear me very well. But, anyways, the wind is crazy. And, um, whew. uh, yesterday, well, actually, I started out su uh, Sunday when I fell. <laughs> um, the grandson was over, and something happened where I had to get outside to the back to him. I think he was screaming for me or something. I don't remember. But uh, I headed out the back and I hit um, a uh, box that I had saved to put down on the ground to get rid of um, unwanted weeds. Because <laughs> <clears throat> you all know I save boxes and stuff like that. So I... Uh, I hit that and went down. I went down on my left knee and my left hip. That's the hip that I had surgery in uh, last year. Well, let's just say it hurts like the dickens right now, but um, I am trying to walk out the soreness and uh, try to get over it. So now let's get to some other stuff going on. He, uh, he had a little problem in the middle of the night on Sunday night, so I didn't get much sleep. I had to get up and give him a shower in the middle of the night, and uh, I only got four hours sleep Sunday night. So I took him on to school on Monday morning, and uh, we were kind of figuring that... You know, you know, he'd been with me for years, you know, all the time. Me taking care of him, him and his sister. And he's been acting out a little bit in school and stuff like that. And he's been crying for me a lot. So, I kept him all weekend. Tried to, uh make things good for him, you know, and uh, see if some of his behavior wouldn't get better. Well, guys, <laughs> this is the first time yesterday that he's he's got uh, stickers, and uh, I guess they give him a gummy or something like that, and um, so <laughs> it worked. <laughs> And I got to spend some quality time with him because I have really, really, really missed him. It's hard whenever you change your life so so drastically, going from having children all the time to not having them. So it was really, really, a really a cool time. <clears throat> and he enjoyed that one-on-one. -on -one. Now, his sister stayed home with mom to help mom um, over the weekend which was cool so I'm going to probably get her in the next week or two uh, some one on one time with her and that way that will give him some time with his parents one on one but we had a blast and thank you guys for all the comments about him in my videos he uh, he loves being on the uh, videos and stuff and he loves climbing trees <laughs> where there's a tree that he's allowed to climb he'll be in it him and his sister so oh what a beautiful day I'm glad that I finally got out of the house and got to do this so I tried to do this first thing I got up this morning and it was 45 degrees and I just couldn't do it. 
between the sun and the uh, wind. It's making me more sneeze. <sighs> Yesterday I went down that way. Today I'm going to go down this way. It gives me a little bit further away from my house. But you can see how them how the we uh, the leaves on the trees here are blowing. It's it's pretty windy. <sighs> but that sun makes me want to sneeze too. <laughs> Anyways. Oh, I just thought I'd have a little talk with y'all on my walk. And uh Sunday was a little bit emotional. Uh, two of my pastor's children are moving to Montana. The two families. Uh, his One of his sons and one of his daughters. <clears throat> so, <sighs> it was a little sad, you know. I'll still be able to see them um, probably on Facebook and stuff like that. But it isn't the same. I've watched these kids grow up into beautiful, beautiful, beautiful parents and great adults. And um, very thankful for them in our church. They've been very, very faithful. And they're going to be missed terribly. <sighs> Anyways, before I cry, I better get off that subject. <laughs> Um, God has other things in store for them and I hope and pray that it uh, it's uh, fruitful you know but um, anyways wow that's a big house I've never been down this road before <laughs> looks like that house over there is being worked on too see and look at how big this house is. Amazing. I didn't even know that was in our neighborhood. <clears throat> I didn't know there was any two stories over here. But I don't really pay attention a whole lot to neighbors and stuff like that. Now that I'm walking. Getting to know it a little bit better during the day. I don't dare go out at night. Uh, not like this, not without either a dog with me or my gun or, uh, you know, a protector. <laughs> so, oh, it is beautiful. And this is how close I live from um, the, the nearest um, place through that light. I live, there's a street willow, and then the next one's Myrtle. And at that light, there is a Save-A-Lot. If I got stranded and couldn't, um, couldn't, um, couldn't take my car to a store, I could go there. And I do shop at Save-A-Lot a little bit. So... They have, they have some really good buys there sometimes. So sometimes I go down there. But this is the other street that I, is on the right adjacent to my street. But, um, goodness gracious. Oh, I should have showed you all some of the trees. But I hadn't been on that street and I really wasn't looking for trees. I was talking to y'all. <laughs> All the fruit trees and stuff in this area. Mm. I'm so praying, though, that my mango tree did not get damaged. Now, I don't know if right here you can see it from... See right above that house right there? That's my mango tree. <laughs> so... <clears throat> excuse me. The people in this house right here on the corner of... I've become really good friends with. I really, 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 really like them a lot. They just moved in uh, 
when Jaquita and her family moved out. And uh, they're really super sweet folks. But, uh, yep. So, see, my, this is how, this is how neat it is. This is Rosie's, uh, whoops, I thought I was pointing it over there. This is Rosie's yard. Her, her, all of her stuff is, is, uh, um, whew, what do you call it? Uh, fruit trees and stuff like that. But look at that man, uh, look at that mango tree. I mean, it's absolutely I'm in love with it. I, I've always loved this mango tree. I cannot get over how gorgeous it is. And I'm really, really sorry for all the wind. I know the wind is terrible, isn't it, guys? And, of course, that hawk is the one that's always trying to go after my chickens. And we're back here at my little place. <sighs> i got to take the garbage up, too. garbage came yesterday and I hadn't been out of the house so <sighs> these are all looking pretty good I don't know if those roseolas are going to come back or not Rose roseolas why do I keep calling them that roselles but it looks like they're starting to sprout down here so we don't I don't know we'll see oh and since I decided to go ahead and leave this thing, I am going to clear out this section right here and plant some stuff there, some more of those bulbs and things, I believe. But I may not do that right now because I'm expecting the fella to call me about some mulch. And I want him to just drop it right here. Yeah, I've got all this pretty lawn that's coming in better now. This is much better side for, for grass and stuff, but I don't really care about grass. As you guys can tell, all I care about is my beautiful fruit. And isn't that beautiful? Now, um, I can't remember if I told you guys I did this or not. I bought a pineapple guava 10 bucks it only cost me 10 bucks i was really impressed so i am going to get this in the ground in the next few days as soon as i feel up to it it has dropped some leaves since i got it but i think it'll be fine once i get it in the ground and get it out of this shaded area over here i am going to plant it um I may even go back and get another one and plant one um, possibly over here somewhere. I don't know. I haven't made up my mind. Um, but I am going to plant it over in that area somewhere. I don't want to plant it too close to the Jabota Kaba. That's this tree right here but um, I do want to plant it over here so and I wanted to get plenty of sun so I might I don't know I'm I'm thinking about taking that crepe myrtle out and uh, planting it there I think that will be the best place for it um, maybe even I might even plant it right here um, to where it's actually can go over into the street a little bit. But I don't know. I haven't made up my mind yet. I can't block this sign or else I get, uh, I get complaints. So anyway, Jabota Cobb is looking really good. So anyways, I'm going to get off of here. Thanks for joining me, folks, and uh, I pray that y'all are staying warm. I am trying to stay warm, but uh, I need to go around the block again, so 
I will catch you on the next one. Take care. Bye now.